Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kimberly and today we're going to be making some explosion box. I've got several requests off of social media to do a longer version because I did a shorter one for social media, but they wanted an extended version to make sure that they got all the details and get it right. So anyway, it's going to be a separate project and if you're ready, let's get started. All right, let's go over the materials or supplies that are needed. I went to Walmart and I got these three boxes here. They're all three different sizes. It doesn't matter what size you get, as long as you get one. The first one needs to be smaller than the second one, and the second one needs to be smaller than the third one. And I'm just gonna flip these over real quick so you can see the sizing for reference. That one is a four by four. This one is a six and a quarter by six and a quarter. And this one is a, trying to see, I hope the camera focuses, eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So there you have it for your measurements for your boxes. And like I said, it doesn't have to be the same exact measurement. You can choose three different uh, other size boxes as long as one smaller than the first one, the, the second one smaller than the third one, like I originally said. And next, you're gonna need some ribbon if you choose to close the box up with ribbon. You're gonna need some glue, it doesn't matter. I just had this clear glue, so you can just use whatever glue you have. Uh, you're gonna need some double-sided tape to put all your treats with. And then you're gonna need some type of knife. I use this, the name brand that they sell in the store is Exacto, but this is just the Hobby Lobby um, version of that Exacto knife. But anyway, some type of, I guess this says utility knife or something. And then of course you're gonna need your snacks of choice. I'm gonna put a little bit of cash in my sister's box. Well, my younger sister's box, I made a one for my older sister. Now my younger sister was requesting one. So anyway, like I was saying, you're gonna need whatever treats, snacks. You can um, totally customize this box however you want. And this is what I chose because this is what they like. Anyway, let's get started on making the um, box. All right, so you're gonna open up your um, X-Acto knife. Make sure it's completely um, secure because as you're cutting this box, it t tends to loosen a little bit. So that's just one tip. Next, you wanna take the box and you wanna just go down the ridge here well, the corners rather, and you want to just literally just cut it open from the this end all the way down to the base. And you're going to repeat this on all four sides. And then you're gonna repeat that with the next two boxes as well. Same step for the next two boxes. And I, okay, and depending on what your box is like, you might wanna flip it over and apply pressure because these boxes are a little sturdy and it doesn't tend to flip out as well unless you kind of put pressure on it and leave it like that. I should have left it overnight, but I didn't. But anyway, like I said, getting back to it, just make sure you apply pressure from the outside. Again, on to the second box. Repeat the same thing you did for the first box, which is just cut it at the corners. Same thing again, you wanna open it up. Flip it over. Try to flatten it out so it won't be so if when you get ready to insert the other stuff. And now we're gonna move on to the third and final box. Repeat again, open up so it won't be stiff again. Flip it over, press it down. All right, next we're gonna take some glue and we're gonna apply the glue to the back of the second box and the third box and just apply it like this. Okay. 
Next, we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna put it in the middle of the third box. You can just eyeball it, see if it's even. If you wanna measure it, you can do that as well. Press down and then you're gonna move on to the third box and do the same thing. I'm sorry, the second box, press down again. And then we gotta let this dry for a second because it'll shift as you get ready to move it around. In the meantime, we're gonna prep our snacks or treats. All right, now it's time to fill it up with the treats or whatever you wanna call it, treats. So yeah, we're gonna call it treats of your choice. And we're gonna go with these, and I dare not even butcher this name, but y'all know what these candies are. Let's hold it on up a little closer. And we're gonna just put four of these here. And again, this box is completely customizable to anything that you like. I just know that these are the kind of things that my sister likes, so we're gonna put that in there first. And she loves cash as well, so we're gonna put her some money around the perimeter. Now again, you can do whatever you want. I've seen these with pictures in them, which that's nice and sentimental. Or you can just put it, whatever you want in these. Again, that's why I truly love this box. It's truly customizable to the person. And you can use this for on so many occasions, not just Valentine's Day. And I've already in the works to do something for Mother's Day as well. So that's the first one. So you go and you close this up and then you put the top on it. This, I like to gather the first through three. And kind of take the box and catch it. And then include the fourth section. As such. And close it. And there you go, the first one. All right, so next we're gonna take some the double-sided tape and we're gonna put it, apply it. I like to make sure that it's secure. So we're gonna put one here and one here just to make sure that the snacks stay um, adhered to the side of the box. Second box is done, and then we're gonna move on to the third and final box. And you just need to close this up. Again, I like to, you can do it however you want, but this is what I found the easiest to do. It's just take the first three. Okay, so I'm left-handed. Let's try this again. Now we're moving on to the third and final. All right. I'm 
to the last one again. Same thing you did with the last one is put the tape. Two rows of tape. And then you put your treats. And that's that. And then repeat it for the other three sections. Y'all have a good one.